About a week and a half ago, we learned that the Justice Department had twisted arms in the Texas State Senate to block a unanimous House vote to criminally ban the molestation of Texas citizens at airports at the hands of the federal goon force, the TSA. And so in about an hour and a half, we uh, had a crowd of over 100 people show up spontaneously down at the Texas State Capitol, and we marched in to that Capitol and went to the steps of the Senate floor where, where the police blocked us and let them know in no uncertain terms that we were not their slaves. So I said, we got to go down there and we got to let these people know that we don't appreciate what they're doing. This criminal government will follow the will of the people and the Constitution. Liberty is only rising. We have only begun to fight and we will fight everywhere. And we will never surrender. Treason! 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 It is not government's job uh, to basically bully and dominate the population. And the Texas State Police uh, did the right thing. They did not behave as tyrants. And they protected our right to go into our Capitol building that our tax money built with our public servants who serve us so that we could tell them that we were very displeased with them. The First Amendment is king. The right of religion, the right of the press, the right to protest, to assemble, the right to petition. It's all there in the First Amendment. And the First Amendment's under attack. It started under Clinton with no uh, protest zones. They put you in free speech zones. It expanded under Bush. And now under Obama, it has exploded. One of my great camera guys, Rob Dew, was arrested at G20 in Pittsburgh for just trying to film the police attacking peaceful crowds. When the crowds dispersed, the police then went to the local university with people out at the park at night and told them nobody allowed out at night. All part of a bullying exercise against citizens. Uh, we saw the same thing a year and a half ago uh, in Kansas City, and the Kansas City Star picked it up. Uh, my guys were a half mile away from the private Federal Reserve branch bank, the folks that have stolen 27 trillion of US taxpayer money, and the Federal Reserve had private security guards with guns come off the Federal Reserve property, drive a half mile where they saw my guys getting a distant shot of the Federal Reserve for B-roll for an upcoming film. And these goons off their jurisdiction, off their private property, came over with their guns and give us your IDs. They gave them the IDs because I've told my guys to try to not get, you know, an altercation. These folks think they're God. And, and, and Rob and, and Aaron said, well, we're here at a World War I memorial that is a city park. You're off your jurisdiction. You, you, you're not even a federal officer. You're a security guard. And the guys said, look, get out of here. It's going to get bad. You go to jail or you can leave. Are you a police officer, sir? We do have arrest powers. Do you want to go to jail? Am I under arrest? No, you're not under arrest. Not yet. You need to leave. You're encroaching on our First Amendment right. No, we are not. You see, there's this idea that when we've been in D.C. just filming the Washington Monument, security guards march over, then police, and say, can't film. And we say, oh, really? We called to get a permit, uh, and the city is permit-free because it's freedom. You're allowed to have video cameras. But we just wanted to see what would happen. Uh, and it, it's happened to other film crews that I know that go to D.C. with mainline television. There's this attitude of letting you know that you're a little slave. And we see this all over the country. I've seen police, it's, it's happened to myself in New York, and it's happened yes, to We Are Change. It's, a uh, it's in our film Truth Rising. Walk camera. over and say, private. turn your camera off, just when you're on a street corner. You go, why? And some cop that can barely speak English starts threatening you. This is a private well, listen, you want me to take that camera, you want to show me what you film? This is the essence of losing our freedoms. If government can trample on the Bill of Rights of Constitution, they can take your private property rights. They can take your pensions. They can search your home without warrants. Uh, and, and, and courts are now ruling all over the country, federal and state, along these lines. We're in a very dangerous time. And that's why I am proud of Texas. Because I went in there like a wild rhinoceros with my First Amendment, letting them know that we were outraged and tired of being sexually abused. We can't fly down to Mexico on a holiday and go to the beach because I will not watch my children uh, have uh, you know, people grab their genitals. And, and, and that's a normal response. They're trying to break our will to condition us. But the good news is more and more of the TSA is saying they're going to try to back off of the body scanners. Congress is moving to cut the funding 
so they can't buy more scanners and so they can't upkeep the others that microwave oven you because they know that they've unified the people against them on a nonpartisan issue. Liberal, conservative, libertarian, socialist, doesn't matter. Nobody likes this and we all know it's a joke. It's security theater. Now, that said, look at what happened uh, with a group of uh, demonstrators that peacefully went into the Jefferson Memorial, Mr. Liberty, and simply quietly, silently danced. They did that uh, because months previous on Jefferson's birthday, a group of libertarians via Twitter said, hey, let's go meet up, you know, like-minded people at the Jefferson Memorial at night. Nobody's there. It's open. And uh, let's, you know, dance. They got arrested then. And when you watch these cops arrogantly, they say, what's the law? They won't even tell them. They won't talk to you. You're scum. You'll follow their orders. They couldn't tell them the law. There is no law. Uh, they have a federal ruling saying it should be solemn. Well, that federal ruling violates the First Amendment. Uh, I mean, speech may not be fun for some people, but it, it, it's absolutely paramount in this country. It's why it's the First Amendment, even before the Second. And the cops begin to tackle people, choke people. When they begin to speak back to the godlike police, the policemen begin to shove them. And it just shows you how far our country's fallen. They are trying to sell us on tyranny in the name of security. If we don't have our basic liberties, America isn't America anymore. And they're going to have another demonstration uh, coming up uh, tomorrow, Saturday, high noon, at the Jefferson Memorial. I wish I could be there. But for folks all over that region, please get there. Uh, and I know Thomas Jefferson, looking down from Valhalla, uh, would certainly be proud of you. And if they crack down on you know, the thousands that are going to show up, well, the next time it needs to be millions. Because we've got to continue to illustrate that this system is authoritarian and dictatorial and out of control. Because if the First Amendment doesn't stand, all the other amendments will fall. And you notice all the other amendments are now under attack. We have to exercise this freedom to let them know they're our servants or we will lose it. Yeah. Yeah. My friends, history is repeating itself. We are all in peril. This is being done because foreign banks have openly hijacked our country, bought off our politicians. They are sucking us dry to economically implode us to come back and loan us our own tax money back at loan sharking interest. We are being economically conquered. They're taking the velvet glove off the iron fist right now because we are already in a depression. And if we wake up and take our government back to the state and federal government and use the, the, the uh, systems our founding fathers gave us, the geniuses they were, and I've studied history, folks. There's nothing better. That they were geniuses. If we use those systems, they want to try to block us. So we've got to continue to face these people down at every front and point out what tyrants they are, and we can save this republic. The answer to 1984 is 1776. I'm Alex Jones. This is the Info War. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. <laughs>